In this video, we're finally going to start creating our WordPress theme. And here I have a, a checklist. Like first thing first, we'll go and we'll create a theme folder. And then we're going to go and create two documents. Now these two documents are the basic minimum you need to create a WordPress theme. It's the index page and the style page. So we'll create that. And then we're going to add an image uh, screenshot. And I already have that image right here. So we'll just drag and drop that into our folder then. And then we'll activate the theme. So what we'll do is we'll log in, we'll go in and activate the theme. And then, so you're going to want to make sure your WAMP server is running, by the way. So double click on your WAMP server and get that running. And then um, we're going to go and we'll make our index page a little bit more dynamic. We're going to add some WordPress functions like the blog info function. We're going to go check that out online, add that into like the head section of our index page. And that'd be pretty much it for this video. So let's go first thing first, go and create our theme folder. So I already have Adam um, open here. And I remember when I first downloaded WordPress, I seen all these documents. I was like, wow, this is going to take forever to learn this. But actually, you're not really going to ever touch any of these documents. I know I rarely don't. Um, the most of the time you're going to spend is inside this WP content folder. So if you go inside that WP content folder and then inside the theme folder we're gonna create our theme folder inside this this folder here so actually let's go ahead and do that so let's go create a new folder I'm gonna call this WordPress talk okay great so you're gonna spend like 90% or 99% of your time inside of this folder so all these other documents we don't really have to worry about when we're creating this theme. So actually, let's go inside of this folder uh, with Adam so we're not confusing it with the rest of these documents here. So I'm just going to go up to File. I'm going to open a folder. And then we're just going to go navigate to that file we just created. So go inside Themes, go select that folder. And Adam's going to open it up. Okay, great. Since we navigated inside of our brand new theme folder, now we're ready to create the index page and the style page. So let's go first check that out out on the uh, web and see uh, what's the bare minimum we need to create a WordPress theme. So let's go out to codex.wordpress.org slash theme development. And I'll have this link down in the description. If you wanted to f want to find this page quicker, you could just go down there and click on that. And then if you navigate down to basic templates, it shows you the very minimum you're going to need to create a WordPress theme, and that's going to be the style page and the index page. Now, keep in mind these files down here, we'll get into them later in a, in a later video. But for now, I just want to create the basic uh, things we're going to need to, for a theme. So if we go back to the code editor, and I'm just going to right click on our folder and create a new file, and we're going to call it the index page, index PHP actually. And it's very important what you name these files because WordPress is actually looking for these names. So it's very important that you name it index.php and also the style sheet also. So we're going to create a new style sheet. And also you want to keep this at the root of this, this theme folder. Okay, great. So now we're ready to add our comment to the style sheet. Now, this is actually very important in WordPress. This describes what your, your theme is, and, and this is how your admin's gonna find out the name of your theme and all that stuff, the description. So this style sheet is actually very important. And actually, if we go out to the web, we're just gonna copy the comment that they have right here on this page, actually. And I seen it up here when I was uh, looking for this, and it's right here. So you're gonna wanna navigate to theme style sheet, and right here they have this comment and this actually describes what the uh, 2013 theme is. So we're just going to reuse this and fill in the information that we want into it. So just copy that. We're going to go back to that code editor. Just paste that in here. Great. And then I'm probably just going to time lapse this. You could put in your own information, but the, your WordPress theme, the URL, uh, the author, like the company name maybe you're working for. Um, the tags that describe your, your website, that's very important. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to time lapse this and I'll be back in one second. Okay, great. Just save that.
And now that we have that done, I'm just going to fill our index page with some just basic HTML for now. Okay, great. So we could save that. So now we have our index page created, our style page created. Now we need to do one more thing if we go check out our checklist. We need to add in our image. So I already have that on the desktop. So let's go just copy and paste that into our project folder. So I have that right here. I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm just going, in, going to go into the theme folder we're working in. And then just paste that right in here. And it's very important you name it screenshot because WordPress is actually looking for that, actually looking for that name. So now that that's done, we can just X out of that. And now we are finally ready to activate our theme. So we're going to need to log in and go into our admin panel. So I have that right here, our dashboard. And then I'm just going to go to appearance. And you could just click on appearance or just click on themes. And as you can see, we have our new WordPress theme right here. And down here is the description of our WordPress or actually the name of it. And th that is where that's getting that from the CSS file, actually. So that's why that CSS file is so important. So let's go ahead and activate our theme. OK, great. And then let's go check it out on the front end. So I'm just going to right click and then open this in a new tab. I like to do that so it's easy to jump back and forth to from the dashboard to the front end. So as you can see, our, our static text is in. So everything's working and great. So technically, you have uh, created your own WordPress theme. I want to quite put this on your resume quite yet because it's not a really good one yet. But um, technically, you have created a WordPress theme. So now let's make our index page more dynamic. So we're going to be using the blog info function. And I have that right here. So we're going to go and add this function in our header section of our index page. So let's go back to our index page. As you can see here, this page is not really dynamic. I manually entered everything in here and that kind of defeats the whole purpose of WordPress. So what I'm going to use is blog info to dynamically add this information in here. And you can add it in multiple locations like right here, like that. And then I'm just going to copy this and we'll add the value in there pretty soon. Actually, we'll just go out to the website and check that out in a second. So I'm just going to copy this. And you can add it to the description in the meta tag right here. Also right here as the title. That's, we're going to use the name value. And then also here. And here. So let's figure out what values we're going to be entering in here. And they have a uh, list of that on the website. If we go back to this page, blog info. And, and again, I'll have this link down in the description. You could just click on that. And if you uh, scroll down, it has a whole bunch of properties you could pick from. Like, for example, the name, and then the description, we could add that in the P tag and the uh, meta tag. And then also, you can even use this, um, I think I saw this one style sheet URL to link up to the style sheet. And actually, let's go ahead and do that. We'll do that right now. Actually, I'm going to copy this. And let's go back to here. And I'm just going to create a link here. Then I'm just going to paste that uh, value in here. And this will actually link us to our style sheet. If we go and we add um, a style, let's say a background color or something like that to the body. And then uh, just save both of the documents. And then we could just go and refresh it on the front end. And as you can see, the background color changed. So that is one way to link up your style sheet is this way. But we're going to be doing it a little different way in the next video, actually. So I'm just going to remove that. But I just wanted to show you that is one way. So let's go out and get the, uh, the meta tag char set and also the description 
for these two and then we're going to use the name for these two so i'm just going to go out and get the chart set and they have that right in here right here this one you could use that for that meta tag so we'll just copy this and just paste that right in here and then also here we could use the description i'm just going to copy this but again if you want to read up on that you could just go right back here and that is right here so i'm just going to go right here paste that right here i also want the description right here in this p tag and then here we'll put the title again that is or actually the name actually just copy that so we're going to be using that one i'm just going to throw that right in here in the title and then also let's throw that right here all right let's save it and check it out so let's go and refresh it okay great and as you can see the text changed right there so now it's being controlled from the admin panel so now we could change any of the text that we want from the admin panel and also if we right click inspect and we go and we check out inside the head our meta tag is being filled in uh, dynamically now and also our title so that's great so let's go to the back end and change the text here and if we go back here we go into settings general and then I'm just going to change this to uh, uh, talk about WordPress or something like that okay great and then we just go down here and change it or save it actually okay great and if we go back to the front end and this should change great alright so now that's working so now we're just gonna add one more function and that is this one right here the language attribute so we want this to be dynamic as well and note uh, this is added into the HTML of course and if you leave it blank empty like this it will automatically fill it in with the HTML so if you want it to be different than that you're gonna have to add in whatever you want but uh, we're just gonna leave it empty I'm just gonna copy this right here and we'll put this in our HTML tag let's go back to the code editor and then we'll just add that right into our HTML element paste that right there and then you can just remove this and leave it blank and if we look at our checklist uh, we completed everything we wanted to for this video so now in the next video we're going to continue working on our index page and we're, we're going to continue adding functions to make this page more dynamic so i'll see you then